customer statement to generate the customer statement we're going to make use of workflows and a save search so right now i have opened the customer record called as with script a and make sure on this customer record there is an email value provided for this particular customer record i just scroll down to communication tab and if i go to messages i don't even have any single email to this so i have already created a save search on this particular customer by hard coding the internal id of the customer and if i just run the save search i can just see the result with only one customer you guys can adjust your filter criteria as per your need and if you want to test even multiple customers you can test it out so in order to create my workflow i am going to navigate to customization workflow workflows and i am going to click on new and in this workflow definition page i am going to select the record type as customer and the subtype as also customer i have provided a meaningful name for this particular workflow and also a id a unique id and i have kept the release status as testing and i have also enabled the logging for debugging purpose so initiation wise i am going to schedule this workflow in the future so i am going to select the scheduled one and uh, if you see one of the main criteria for the scheduled workflow search is we have to select the save search i am going to select the save search which we just created i am not going to worry about the schedule as of now since i am going to test this workflow now so i am going to click save so once you save the workflow definition you should be able to land on this particular page where it will default to you one state called as state one so i am going to click on the state the moment i click on the state i comes to the state option if i just click anywhere outside this state i can see this workflow definition page is coming up on the right hand side which provides me the complete detail of this workflow i'm going to select the state and on the right bottom side i'm going to click new action in the new action pop up i'm going to select send email action this is the send email action page i'm going to leave the trigger on as entry and if i just scroll down i can see the sender option i'm going to select the sender so under recipient by default sent to current record is checked i'm going to leave it as it is and on the right hand side we can either use the existing template so i'm going to make use of custom email template so i'm going to select this custom i have set the subject as customer statement and this is how the email body looks now and i'm going to check this checkbox which says include view record link which is going to provide a link in the email itself where the customer can click on the view record link so that it will take to the customer record itself coming to attachment wise i am going to include the statement as my attachment and i'm going to choose the type as a pdf attachment statement date i will give the date as today start date which actually refers to the transaction date if i provide any date here it is going to consider from yesterday whichever transaction has been created for this customer if i leave it empty it is going to fetch all the transactions for this particular customer so i can check this checkbox whether i want to see a only open transactions so i'm going to leave these two as default and i'm going to click on save so we have successfully saved the action now i'm going to click on the workflow definition and you guys can see this pencil here so i'm going to click on this pencil which is a edit option for my workflow definition and in order to execute this and to test it immediately so i'm going to click on execute now which is going to trigger my workflow so i have the customer record open now now if i just scroll down and click on the communication tab i can see the workflow has been triggered and i have an email also here and the subject says customer statement and there is a attachment files where the attachment name says which script a dot pdf now let's view this email okay so in the email there is a subject which i mentioned and the body and also a view record link which we just check the checkbox and let's go to attachments and under attachment we have the statement attached now let's open this attachment so here i can see the statement which got generated from the workflow itself 